Hi everybody, so here we go. How to install DAISY expansion on your private community custom server. This is an update to the video I made several months ago. Was it way back in 2020 that I made that video? So I'm recording this on the 4th of February 2021. Um, right, so the first thing I'll say about DAISY expansion and the related mods that you have to install at the same time is I have found it particularly troublesome to install especially when they have updates so if you find yourself having trouble with daisy expansion it might not be you all right it may be because it's a little bit buggy and you have to restart your server a few times so without further ado let's get started so daisy expansion what you want to do is obviously you want to go to the steam uh, open steam go to the steam workshop open go to the daisy steam workshop and look for daisy expansion you want to subscribe to it and then you also must subscribe to all of these two a community framework community online tools daisy expansion license daisy expansion core and daisy expansion vehicles and basically just click through on those um excuse me and just make sure you subscribe to them all the other thing you want to do is you want to have a really good read of all this down here that explains to you about Daisy Expansion. And you'll find links. Now, this is very, very important. You'll find links to their um, wiki that they're writing, which gives you good uh, tutorials on how to install Daisy Expansion too. And also, it takes you through to this page here. And you just want to click on up here, Daisy Expansion Missions, on, on GitHub. Um, and these are the daisy expansion missions so these are the things that are in my original video that used to be included with the mod that now aren't they're now on the github so this is um all your xml's basically if you've started modding you, you'll know about those so this is the thing that's in your in your missions folder on, on your on your computer so what you want to do is after you've subscribed to daisy expansion and you've uh, subscribed to all the other mods and also i would highly recommend you subscribe to Zomberry admin tools as well because you'll see in a minute that I actually use Zomberry admin tools on my expansion uh, server because they I think they work a little bit better than community online tools so once you've done all that you want to download the missions and the way that you do that is in this page here you see where it says code you click on the little arrow and download the zip and it's quite a big file so it'll download to your local computer um, and then what you want to do is you want to copy it to another some, somewhere else out of your downloads folder and then unzip it and you'll end up with this folder daisy expansion missions master and here we've got all the missions so let's go into one and so you can see so this will start to look familiar to you cfg spawnable types and then the db folder with your types your events you know it should all look pretty familiar so we need this to make the mod work as well so what you want to do with this is for, in the sake of this video we're just going to install uh, expansion Chernerus Plus so the standard version not, not the Chernerus Plus Gloom one so what you want to do is once you've opened that up we want to copy this into our um, mod folder our uh, daisy expansion mod folder into this one um, now if you're not sure where all the mods are stored on your computer if you just fire up the daisy launcher and then just go to the daisy expansion mod find that click on the little arrow to the right of it and then click on these three little dots below the photo and then click on the thing that says open folder in windows explorer so you click on that and it says don't change anything and you say yeah yeah don't worry and that will then open a um, file explorer window where it is so now you know now you've got that now if we have a look in here we can see that we've got the add-ons which is you know this is doing the heavy lifting for the mod um, and then we've got um uh ooh, you know so that bit sorry that bit won't be in your one you won't have expansion.chernus plus it's in mine because i've copied it over already then you'll have the keys um, which is the thing that makes the server and the client talk to each other and then we've got another couple of files but you won't have expansion.chernus plus that won't be there so what you then need to do is go back to your missions uh, folder and just right click copy expansion.chernus plus then go to the mod folder again, Daisy Expansion, and just paste that in. 
Now I don't have to because I've already done it. And that's going to paste the XMLs in. Now this is kind of how it used to look when you used to download the mod. So that is there and that is ready to go now. Now just make sure everything has downloaded. And what we want to do is we now need to get these files up onto our custom server. So fire up your FTP program, whatever you use. I'm using FileZilla in this particular case. And again, on the left-hand side, these are the local files. On the right-hand side, this is actually my server in the, in the cloud, my Nitrido server. So what you want to do is, again, go to the workshop um, part of uh, where all your mods will be. If you're not sure where that is, again, if you just go back to one of these... Um, uh, file Explorer windows we've got open. If you right click up into, sorry, left click up into this address bar, it gives you the address where they actually are, and you can right click, copy, go into your FTP program, and just paste that on top of there. Press Enter, and we're, we're there. So here we can say, so we've got Daisy expansion, Daisy expansion core, um, licensed vehicles, all, all the ones we want. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to start copying those across. So all you've got to do is make sure you clicked on Daisy standalone so you're in the kind of the root directory. Click on Daisy expansion, right click upload, and then just right click upload, right click upload, right click upload to all those ones. Um, and then you've got CF that you'll want to up, right click upload, and you'll want uh, community online tools, right click upload. And that will then push these all over to your particular um, to your remote server. Now the next thing we need want to do, now that's going to take quite a while because there's lots of lots of files. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that that mission is there. So if you scroll down on the right hand side, you will go to MP missions. And if we open this up, and then what we want to do is if we go back into our Daisy expansion where we copied expansion.churnerus plus. You see expansion.churnerus plus? We want to copy that into this MP missions folder. So we just right click expansion churners plus upload and that will then upload the the new mission to the uh, to our remote server. So that's uploading all those XMLs, all the types that XMLs, the events that XMLs, the global that XMLs, the spawnable types that XMLs, the player spawn points XMLs. All of those are going to be there. Now the next thing we want to do are the keys. So if we click on the keys folder, the keys are well, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what they do, but if you don't have the key on your server and on your client, it won't work. And each add-on, each mod, has its own key that you need to upload to the keys folder on your server. So if we go down, so we've got community framework. So here you go. So we've got keys. So we go into that one. So we'd make sure we selected that folder on our server, that folder on our local. Right-click, upload. And then we've got uh, community online tools, keys, Jacob Mango. So some of these are the same upload and that would upload that over to here see I've already got them on here um, and then if we go down to daisy expansion and go into the key it says expansion dot by key and then we would upload that one and what you'll find is for all the daisy expansion ones it's the same key so you don't have to keep on uploading it and then if you're doing zomberry obviously upload zomberry and um, and you, you kind of uh, I'd kind of recommend that as well so Doing those FTP bits, um, we've kind of done the heavy lifting now of installing the mod. Uh, we've installed all the various the mods that are on there. Uh, we've installed the the, the, the missions folder. Uh, we've made sure all the keys are on there, so they're all uh, singing from the same hymn sheet. But now what we need to do is we need to go into the settings for our server and make sure it starts with these mods, um, and it also starts and uses that that. that um, uh, Daisy uh, expansion .churners plus map that uses those missions. So now what we do is you want to go to your server provider, whoever that might be. I'm using uh, Nitrado as an example here, and you want to go to your web interface. Now, if you're already familiar with all this, um, you, you you might want to sort of skip some of these parts. But you may well be uh, using a service provider that isn't Nitrado, but it's it's very very similar. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into the settings. And you're looking for the setting that loads the mods for you. So in Nitrado's sake, it's it's down here in additional mods. And this is actually part of the batch file. So if you're running this, these mods locally, the batch file is the thing you'll be editing. You may well have access to a batch file on your server already. And to be honest, if you're using a batch file to start your Daisy private server, 
all of this, you know, you'll probably you'll be scoffing at this. You'll know how to do all this all together. But what you need to make sure is that every single mod is in this particular line here with a semicolon. That's a that's a uh, comma with a dot above it in between them. So, and you want to start with uh, community framework and then community online tools. Now, the easiest way to do this, if you're not sure about your spelling and your typing, is to go back to the workshop and then just go through. And if you left click a uh, folder and then right click it slowly after, sorry, left click a folder, then left click it again, you can then highlight the title and then you could right click, copy that, and then you could paste that. And the order I've got them running in is Community Framework, Community Online Tools, Daisy Expansion, um, Daisy Expansion Core, Daisy Expansion License, Daisy Expansion Vehicles. Now, I also believe that Zombri Admin Tools are better than Community Online Tools when it comes to stability. Okay, so I'm not going to go into in this video how you set up Zombri Admin Tools or, or how you set up Community Online Tools so that you can become the admin on the server. But in my experience, Zombri Admin seems to work better. Um, and when you're spawning things in as well onto the server, things like the helicopters, when I use community online tools, a lot of the time, the helicopters disappear underneath the map. But where, with the Zombri admin tools, they seem to sit okay. So that's my little tip for you. Remember, you don't have to set up the server that you have godlike, um, you know, you, that you have admin privileges. You, you know, you don't have to. You could just load um, CF. You could get rid of, say, Zombri admin tools if you didn't want it. But as long as you've got CF, Community Online Tools, Daisy Expansion, Daisy Expansion Core, Daisy Expansion Vehicle, Daisy Expansion Licensed, as long as you've got that, the game will run and the helicopters will spawn and all the different stuff will spawn and you'll be able to build the different items. But part of the fun of being a server owner is having admin tools, isn't it, to go in and, and spawn stuff in and create things and also um, you know, fly around the map. So anyway, Zombri admin tools I have on mine. Just by adding Zombri admin tools doesn't mean you have access, but it's that's... I digress. It's, it's if you look for look through my videos, there's a Zombri how to install Zombri admin tools on your server, and I highly recommend it. So once you've got all those mods there, what what this does is that when the server starts, it says to the server, right, brilliant, crack on, get started, and load these mods. So community framework, community online tools, Daisy expansion, Daisy expansion license. Load them all up when you run. So that's important. So what you want to do is you want to save the changes. So you'd save that. Now at this point, we really want to stop our server. Okay, because what we're going to access next are the expert settings. Now, the expert settings, on Nitrado's sake, are, is actually giving us a web access to the serverdz.config file. Now, you may well have direct access to the serverdz.config file, um, and that's the file we, we're going to be editing next. So, on DayZ, on Nitrado, you have to enable expert settings and then go into this file. And you can only edit this if the server is stopped. And what you want to do is you just want to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you're looking for that template. Now, your one will probably say template equals um, offline.churnerus or offline.enoch uh, if it's a Livonia server, or it might be the Malsk or something like that. But we want expansion.churnerus plus because that's the mission. They're the XMLs that we want our server to start with. So if we go down here and we go back to the workshop and we go into daisy expansion where we copied this earlier if you just left click it once wait a little bit left click it again you can actually right click and you could copy that and you could then paste that in between those uh, those quotation marks there you could you could do that paste that in okay now you could be running with one of the other um, uh, maps, one of the other missions like Expansion Churnerus plus Gloom. This is the one that gives you access to some of the other lighting effects. Um, and if you want to do that, again, I highly recommend you look through their instructions on how to install that because they want you to change some of the lighting effects when you when you do that. But again, again, I digress. So let's go back here. So once you've done that and you've done template expansion .churnerus plus, you want to save the changes and then you want to start your server. Um, and this sometimes is where the fun begins with uh, Daisy expansion, because we've really done everything. All you really need to do now is tell the players on your server to go and go to Steam and to subscribe to all of these mods. Um, 
so that when they go back to it, it will it will run. Now, the first time you start your server, what will happen is it will actually create a folder uh, in your config file um, to do with uh, running um, expansion. And it could be inside your profiles folder. And within that profile folder, that's where you can um, adjust. If I, if I press, there we go. So you can see it there, expansion mod. That's where you can adjust various things on the server. Again, I'm not going to go into details in this particular video on how you do that. There's something you can investigate once you've got your server running. Now, what often will happen is the first time you restart your server to get it running, it will probably stop and won't work, or you might get kicked. So just restart it again, and then, oh, is this restarting? Let's restart it. Restart it again and let it run through. And often, the first time you try and log on to it as well as a new player, uh, and this may go for other players as well, it can take an awful long time to log on. And you'll be sitting there, you know, and you'll have the lovely expansion splash screens, and you'll see the line going across, and the line will start, and you'll be going, what the bloody hell, this is taking bloody ages. But eventually, go and make a cup of coffee and you'll come back and you'll be at the spawn screen where you can have a custom spawn or you can have a random spawn, whatever you like, or whatever they, they're running by the time you get this video. If it still doesn't work, restart it again and then see what happens. Um, and then you should be okay until the next update. And sometimes updates with Daisy Expansion seem to work okay. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you've got to delete everything and, and start again. Um, it just seems to be very finicky, Daisy Expansion. Um, hopefully it's going to get more stable as it goes on but as I say you know my, my big tip for Daisy expansion is don't use community online tools as your admin tool um, although you've still got to subscribe to it and you've got to install it what you want to do is use um, use Zomberry um, let's see if we can community workshops Daisy There we go. Use Zomberry admin tools. I think they're a little bit simpler than a few of the other admin tools, so they seem to be less likely to crash and they seem to work better. Um, but again, if you just search through my videos or other videos on how to install Zomberry admin and how to give yourself admin privileges, there's loads of videos out there. So there we go. Expansion mod. How to install it. My updated version. Um, hopefully you found that video useful. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the uh, the uh, comment section below the video. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.